Hey guys, what's gyrating? I'm sorry, I'm about to head to bed, so I'm a little sleepy. I'm me to bed. I'm about to take a, a about a four hour nap before church. Um, but um, I feel pretty good today. So, right earlier yesterday, later yesterday, I met up with a friend. And he hasn't seen me for about I say like three months, and he he didn't barely recognize me. He didn't like barely barely recognize me, but he had like you know that that pause and said, "Say you leaving the pack?" You know, and I'm like, "Yeah." So you know, we we chatting and everything, and he hear he said the comment I really didn't expect, but we all want to hear. Have you lost weight? I was I was I had to I had to pause for a second. I was like. Because no one really asks me that, but I guess that's because everyone around me sees me lose weight slowly. But then you get people that haven't seen in a while. And I was like, yeah. And I told them about a little subway diet thing I'm doing. I lost 42 pounds. And I didn't think it really, I mean, I, I've been commenting my video saying it does show. But for someone else to say it just meant a lot to me. If that's not a big of motivation, guys, I don't know what is. Again, I apologize I didn't do weigh-ins last week, but this week I'm going to knock it out. Um, so yeah, sometime this Monday I'm going to go ahead and head to the gym and go ahead and give myself a quick weigh-in. See how how much weight did I really lose. Hey, I'm really glad that I actually did lose weight. I feel better. I'm looking better. <laughs> I almost want to continue the subway diet indefinitely. But I'm about four months in, and I'm not getting tired of Subway sandwiches, but my dreams of eating other food is become more rapid. First time, I ate a really good filet mignon. Then I ate a just regular soup, and my last dream the other night was me eating a really greasy cheeseburger and fries. And I can't remember the other dreams, but I, I, like there was a usually fast food or sugary food, like cereal stuff. I can't remember too vividly, but I, I remember those kind of foods. They they don't happen all the time. I think they happen maybe once a week, maybe once every other week. But that's pretty rapid to dream about food. I was saying, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> um, I don't remember most of the dreams, obviously, but I remember the steak one and burger one. That's certain. So we could. So that's two. Very vivid dreams I can remember in the last couple of months. So, so I don't mind dreaming of that food because it makes me feel like I'm eating it. And I, ironically, I wake up when I start feeling guilty. Like, I wake up and be like, wait a minute, I'm not supposed to be eating this. I'm on a subway diet. Oh, no. And the next thing you know, <laughs> next thing you know, I wake up and I'm like, oh, goodness, it's just a dream. Thank goodness. I don't want you to my diet. <laughs> oh, but, uh, yeah. So, that's what's been up. Other than that, it's been a pretty regular, relaxing time. Um, Going to plan for the movies this week, too. So, I'm looking forward to that. Kind of sucks, because I usually like to eat and be at the movies. But, I could just eat before, like I usually do or something. They have these things called cinema cafes here where you can eat and watch a movie at the same time. Like they bring you, like you order food, do on a button in, in the theater and they come out. You know, a little waiter or waitress comes out and be like, hey, what you want to order? Then they bring you your food in the most non-interrupted way as possible. I really think it's a great concept and I actually wish they had this one. Not, not when I was a kid, but where I grew up in New York. I don't know, sure. I'm pretty certain. I mean, New York has everything. I'm pretty certain they have this, or at least some kind of concept of it. But I sure as heck don't see it. I mean, maybe it's outside of hood. Maybe, like, I don't even know what's outside of New York City. Like, honestly, until like a couple of years ago. And now I'm a grown behind man. I'm 29 years old. But until like about three or four years ago, I didn't even know that, that there was more New York beyond the Bronx. I really didn't. I heard I me. Mean, I heard upstate, but I thought like maybe it was like, I don't know, like maybe like it was like a Bronx size upstate. Like maybe there was like a 
another town or because my aunt drove to New York when I was a kid you know she went up north to Connecticut is Connecticut in the north so in any case um as you can see my geography is terrible but um I remember she said she was driving north to a Toys R Us to get these two systems because all the other ones were sold out for Christmas and she got them for me, my cousin um so yeah I didn't know there was Albany, that's what it is. I didn't know Albany existed. I thought it was some random town in a different state that happened to be close to New York. Like how New Jersey got Newark or how Long Island is Long Island. Wait, is Long Island a state? In any case, my geography is terrible, but I kind of data dumped it after high school, so who's the true villain? In any case, I'm clearly very tired, so I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> but um, I'm really just happy to see that I'm not the only one seeing that I lose weight. My wife said it, and that felt great, but she's my wife. Of course, she's going to see her compliment me. But hearing a friend say it out of the blue like that, it really, really hit home. Really hit right here. Right in the lungs. So, in any case, guys, I'm um, feeling pretty, even more confident. Go ahead and go, go ahead and give me a great rest. I hope you guys have a great day at church or whatever you do for your Sunday day. Whether you're resting, churching, or something in between. You guys just make sure you gyrate everywhere you go. And above all things, keep it strong here. The hero will be the same. Leading the pack. Signing out.